We got an election coming up in Oakland. Watch you look out and see a little cloud. I'm not going out and vote in this rain. Watch your turnout. See how many of you stay at home. Well, God don't want me to vote today. This goes against all law. You're just lazy and retarded. If you don't want to have make some decision on that job you want, if you don't want to have some kind of power in the mayor's house, then shut up and take what you're going to get. Because let me tell folks and go to the polls. It's a new day now. Don't tell me what was said 30 or 40 or 60 years ago. You're in a new day now. Your children's future depend upon your action. Rain or shine, get out and vote. And when they look up and say, hey, 40% of the black folks in Oakland voted, that means 40% of the black folks becoming conscious of themselves, conscious of the condition we're living in, regardless of who win, they got to come to you. When you lay at home and make excuses, well, so-and-so and didn't vote, Jesus didn't vote. Brothers and sisters, we have to worry above you because you don't vote. You sit back at home saying, oh, if it's the will of Allah, inshallah, blame God for everything. Blame God for your laziness. Blame God for your ignorance. Instead of tying your camel, vote and then say, inshallah, whatever is the will of Allah. Do your part first. Get out of that spookville. Ain't no mystery God in the sky protecting you. Some of you say, well, you can't be afraid. You, can you better wake up and be aware of what God is doing. I am all understanding. Blessed he who reads the Bible and understands it. Yeah. I am all understanding. 